Hey guys, my name is Austin Gregory, and in this course, I'm going to teach you how to create a questing system for your Unity games. The system is going to have quest givers, which can be NPCs, they can be items, they can be anything, and they're going to assign a quest to our player, or maybe multiple quests. In my case, my quest givers are just buttons, but yours can be anything you would like. And each quest is going to have a goal you have to complete to complete the quest. Now this goal can be anything. This goal for Treasure Hunter is finding an, an item, a specific item for the quest. Anything you can fire off an event by doing, you can set it up as a goal for the questing system. So for this one, we have a kill goal. Anytime an enemy dies, we check, do we care about this enemy dying? If we do, then we, we increment the Vampire Slayer or whatever quest is looking for an enemy to die. In this case, we find an item, we say, is this the item I care about? If it is, then I update the progress for Treasure Hunter. And here we have something that's going to kill a vampire and something that's going to find an item. Now, these two things are going to allow us to test the system, but obviously you want to place this into your game, which we're going to be doing later on in the RPG series. So I'm going to kill a vampire, or a few vampires here, until I've killed all ten. There we go, I've completed the quest, and I've got my reward. Burnt Salmon and Rusty Chains. Now these are just strings of item names, but later on we're going to actually hook it up to our, our inventory system and crafting system so that you can get rewarded with items that you can then use to craft new items with. Pretty cool. And then I want to do the Treasure Hunter quest, one out of one, and I received a Ruby Talisman. Again, just an item name, not an item. And that's going to be it. It's a really cool system and it's going to be very easy to drop into any game that you may have. So my name is Austin and I will see you in the first lesson.